What is your favorite harness racing horse rivalry of all time, where there were two or three horses competing in a given season or over the course of a few years? Um, well, I really enjoyed the Canfella It's Fritz years ago. I thought that was just incredible the way that they promoted it, and they were two fantastic horses. One was very fast, one was very tough, tough one out. Um, I thought that was kind of a, one of the better ones. And, uh, you know, there's been a few rivalries over the years. You know, I think Sandpail and uh, Arch Madness had their own rivalry, and Sandpail and Lucky Jim also had a bit of a rivalry going there. But uh, it was short lived you know, maybe a year or two, but the, I, I just thought the Cam Fell It's Fritz one was done upright. Probably when Cam Fella raced against It's Fritz. Oh, I would have to say, um, I know Cam Fella dominated, but uh, It's Fritz and Cam Fella were battling all the time, and uh, uh, you know, it's, there's, there's been rivalries over the years, but that one kind of sticks in my mind. I think that uh, watching Cam Fella, everybody trying to beat Cam Fella, uh, was a great rivalry because it was only about four of them and uh, the other three just kept trying and they never could beat him and like with Beach um, they kept trying to beat him but he was really so dominant there was never a, I don't think maybe uh, shadow play came close a couple times but the great rivalry was watching uh, uh, Buddy Gilmore and Bob McIntosh's heart try and beat Cam Fella. Probably at the end of some Beach's career when everybody was trying to beat him. I, he only got beat once, but I mean everybody was gunning for him at the end. For the few starts they were together, I would say uh, some Beach somewhere and artificial. I, again, there's been so many. Uh, I, you know, I kind of like the, the life sign again, going against the Robinson's horses. That, that, was, uh, that was very exciting to watch that. Um, and, you know, and there's, there hasn't really been, uh, you know, I'd say like maybe some Beach against everyone else. But, uh, yeah, I have to say life sign against Robinson's horses that year, the three-year-old year. Presidential ball and Riyadh and uh, life sign. I think it would be presidential ball and life sign. I think, I think that's, uh, yeah, that, that'd, be, that'd be mine. The season that I was able to watch Arts Place uh, was fabulous. It was fun watching uh, Better's Delight and Real Desire go at it when they were together. Back in the 80s here, in the early 80s, there was a great horse here. Um, his, his name raced around the Maritimes, Winner's Accolade. And when you're as good as he was, everybody was gunning for him. And there were some great battles. Um, um, Webby's had a horse called Wavor that used to battle with Winner's Accolade night in, night out. Uh, Marcel Berrio had a nice horse. Angel Shadow used to try and gun down um, Winner's Accolade. And, uh, you know, there was uh, just to name a few, there was. He, he actually won the Gold Cup here one year. Um, my uncle Mike had won it the year before and uh, had beat him the year before, so he came back the next year and, and Mike actually won the Gold Cup with Winners Accolade. So he was a great champion back back in that day. Uh, back when I was a young fella, there was three horses, uh, Winners Accolade, Angel Shadow, and Wavor. They was, that was a great rivalry. I don't know, I used to have the videos, I used to watch uh, On the Road again and, and Guts. They used to battle all the time. So. It was, it was good racing, so I like that. Well, that's a tough one, and I, I don't want to uh, date myself, but I, I know one of the best rivalries that I can recall when I was quite young uh, uh, was the rivalry between Overtrick and Meadow Skipper. Uh, of course, that was, <laughs> like I say, early 60s. Another one was Nansamon and Albatross. I mean, that ended up being a rivalry. Um, fortunately for this industry, there's been a lot of them over the years. Uh, Armbrough Flight and Rokapane, I mean, that was legendary as well back in those days. When I was a little kid, it was Worldly Beauty and Bunny Lake. That was my favorite. I still remember it to this day. A couple years there, the three-year-old fillies. I liked watching Western Silk and put on a show. They were two good fillies, and they got in together. Either one could probably beat the other. I can associate with my own horses. Uh, we had no rivalries, really. It, uh, uh, we had a lot of good competition in the Ontario Sire Stakes. One that comes to mind is Jack Copas had a horse a lot of years ago, and we had a horse called Bo Jim. And it was it was t a tough battle. Bo Jim won a lot of money, but Copas's horse was just a little bit notch better. And fortunately, he Jack would go to some of the bigger stake races and leave us the the smaller things. Freddie List also had a horse at the same time called New Departure and he was a great sire steak horse and it was usually a battle between Bo Jim and New Departure 
week in, week out. But uh, two good horses. My favorite of all time was uh, a horse I drove, Waiting on a Woman, and uh, Maple Leaf Spirit. Uh, they was always back and forth. It was a fun year. I would say uh, last year, a three-year-old's uh, Warry Needy, Sweet Lou, and Michael's Power. I think anyone could have won it uh, most any time. I, back when I was younger, my, my dad owned a horse named Ranger Bob, and uh, when I was a kid, uh, London used to race on Saturday afternoons, and I remember uh, Kenny Query had a horse called Eponis Prince, and Highland Nero was another horse. Um, just trying to think of who drove that one, but each week in the preferred at London, they were one, two, three, and it was a battle, and depending on who, what post position and what trip someone got, and to me, that was the big day of the week, so I'm going to say that. When I was growing up, I remember two horses that raced uh, tough, very tough against one another. My father drove one, and another was driven by Kenny Arsenal. Their names were um, Rosetown Eagle and Chemo Dino. They were a pair of three-year-old colts, and, and they always seemed to be in a duel together. For me, horses that, you know, there was a rivalry. For me, it was, it was uh, Stand Together, Cam Best, and Silver Elmerhurst. They all raced together, and, uh, but I had the best horse, so I, I thought it was a fun. And for a short time, the Macro Bell Napolitano rivalry, when I was winning, and then once I started lose, losing, I didn't think it was that much fun. But and I'm sure John didn't either when he was, my horse got really good like in the month of August and September. Three times in, uh, well, let's be honest, four times. So, and, uh, but you know, that was great. I mean, really good. Genghis Khan beat you back years ago, the World Cup days, when uh, Joe DeFrank brought the horses from New Zealand and Australia here. Oh, I'm an old timer. So, I'm going to go back a few years, quite a few years. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to uh, work for Bill Herbert, and it was a, I looked after a horse called the Blaze Herbert. And he used to race with against Claybrook Van and Bo Winter and Keystone Gary. And there were some great trotters back then, and they, they banged it out week after week uh, amongst them.